All right, Flexible Eating Nation, I'm back with another macro lesson. Macros at the whiteboard, and I get this question a lot. I see it in the group. I get texts, phone calls, emails. They send out the macro signal, and they're like, hey, Jay, how is this possible? I've hit my macros, but my calories are way off. My calories are, I'm over 100, I'm under 100, etc." So let's talk about a few reasons that might happen. And, and then we'll break down the science of it. So for one, if you've had alcohol, that can be a big part of it. So if you watched the previous video on how to track alcohol, alcohol would just subtract your calories but not really touch your macronutrients, so that can throw you off. The other thing is maybe something you plugged in is just completely out of whack in the app. A lot of people plug in these foods and you see just little dash marks. They might have their calories but no macronutrients because remember, there are people that use MyFitnessPal simply as a way of tracking calories. Now, what we've learned is a calorie is not necessarily just a calorie. We are hitting our calories by hitting our macronutrients because of this. If you look at protein, if you look at protein, one gram is equal to four calories. One gram is equal to four calories when it comes to protein. We can say the same exact thing about carbs. One gram is equal to four calories. That shit is just science. Now, if we look at fat, one gram is equal to nine calories. Science coming at you, right? So, if I give you your macros or you've figured out your macros by watching the original Flexible Eating Blueprint, you're hitting your macros, so by default, you are also hitting your calories. The difference is when some people chase after their calories, let's use an example. We have a woman and she wants to eat 400 calories per day. She simply knows as she's eating, as she starts to approach 1200, 1300 calories, she just needs to start eating less. As she gets closer and closer to 1400 calories, cut it off. Where by tracking our macros, we're basically juggling these three things in the air. It's not just about overall calories. It's okay, well, we need to hit those calories based on our protein, carbs, and fat. So if you're using the app, and I'll give you a great example. So my example is myself today. I've already plugged in my numbers, and at the end of the day, I have 88 calories left over. 88 calories left over but my numbers were, my carbs were, I was over by two, so I still had two left, which means I still had eight calories left. My fat, I was at zero, so I was perfect. And then my protein, I went over by two, which means I was in a deficit of eight. So technically, these should have canceled themselves out, but somehow I still had 88 calories left. Not a big deal. That's just user error in the app whether it's rounding, whether something's not perfect. And you can see this happen. Go check out a check out a calorie-free monster. Go to your local 7-Eleven or convenience store. Look up a zero-calorie monster, and it will say, like, two carbs. Well, if it has two carbs in it, it should have eight calories. All sorts of nonsense going on with the FDA, RDA, government, etc. Don't sweat it. At the end of the day, I want you chasing after your macronutrients. So you no longer have to ask me what's going on with my calories. It doesn't matter. Chase those macronutrients daily. Make sure this number is not off due to alcohol or just complete, complete error in the app, and you should be fine. Hope that answers a lot of questions. Macros versus calories. You got it here. If you haven't already, head over to the Flexible Eating Nation. Search it on Facebook. Check out the original Flexible Eating Blueprint fan page if you're not already. Like it. Give us some feedback. We love you guys. Hope this helped.